One of the key experiments that we did, I found very, very exciting, was that we could turn on and turn off cancer growth just by adjusting the level of the protein. I am T. Colin Campbell. I'm a longtime professor at Cornell University. I wrote uh, with my son, who's a physician, uh, the China study. Why has it taken so long to understand this information? And why do we not know it now? Why is there so much reluctance? Why do we have the medical system we have, which I consider to be flawed? That history says a lot about how we got uh, this story wrong for so long. And secondly, sort of offering some ideas about the way we practice medicine. Uh, I really think uh, a lot of good people working in that community, obviously, but they're corrupted by a paradigm that's been hanging over our heads for more than a century. So I'm redefining the subject of nutrition because I happen to believe that is the most important biomedical sciences of the future. I started out my early life on a farm, milking cows. And eventually, and I was the first one in my family to go away to college, actually. I eventually went to graduate school and did my graduate uh, PhD dissertation on uh, an attempt to show how we could promote the consumption of more animal protein. I just consider protein in those days, but it was animal-based. And so that's what my early work was on. Following that, uh, I had three years at MIT doing some toxicology work. I then was involved in, uh, at Virginia Tech University. Uh, there, in, in, uh, sort of helping to run a program in the Philippines, uh, basically coming up with a model system by which we could address questions concerning malnutrition and starving children. We did that for 10 years, but while I was there, the first thing we needed to do, we thought, most everyone else thought too in, in the area of medicine, these children were malnourished and having difficulties because they weren't getting enough protein. Of course, that suited me just perfectly. I'm, I'm advocating you know, more protein consumption, especially animal-based. I was seeing evidence that more protein means more cancer. That was pretty shocking. I'm, I'm coming from my background on the farm and my, and my uh, training in uh, graduate school and so forth. We were going there to do the opposite. And here, here, so I had a conflict. Are we going to promote the consumption of more protein in these children when we have this evidence that it has that kind of effect? So I came back to my university at that time and got some funding from the uh, National Institutes of Health. Uh, one particular grant that lasted for the next 27 years, by the way, uh, where I, I was really interested in looking into that question. Is it really true that protein might increase cancer risk? One of the key experiments that we did, I found very, very exciting, was that we could turn on and turn off cancer growth just by adjusting the level of the protein. That was very exciting for some various reasons, one of which is the idea now recognized these days, at least by me, <laughs> that we can control cancer by nutrition.